Hey there guys, it's Robert from RobGeo 0407 l and welcome to episode 324 of Logo History! Hello people! We are so back. Yes, Logo History Collab is back. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! It's not Christmas anymore. <laughs> also, inanimate insanity on uh, music. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the 12th episode of Logo History. And yes, Logo History is back. Hey, guys, Heath the Director and Chief Stupid Dogs Fan 2007. There is a third episode of Logo History Targonite. Keep here for season five of local history collab. Hey guys, it's me, the Feral Success from 2024 here, and welcome to the first episode of season three of the logo history collab entry. Hey there, puppies. Jurgenite here, and welcome to episode 19 of the logo history on Scratch Blooper series cast members logo history. This series is back with a new format, and this format is also used in my series called Refurbished Logo History, but edited. Hey guys, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Logo History. Today we're gonna have a look at the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. For episode 25, Tesio La Voz de Corporation for Public Broadcasting. For this episode, we're gonna have a look at Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Today we're talk about Corporation for Public Broadcasting. What we're gonna do with Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is our viewers. Or just take a look. At the Corporation for, Bu for Public Broadcasting. The first logo to use this format is a company who helped supported PBS shows and possibly other shows for many years. It's the one, the only, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And today we're going to do the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. That never funded by me. My show stinks. That's why I got rejected from PBS Kids. I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. Okay. Let's take a look at the short by those of you who don't know what the Corporation for Public Broadcasting is. It is an American nonprofit corporation founded on November 7th, 1967 by Lyndon B. Johnson, which it, who is who was the 36th US president. It is sometimes abbreviated to CPB. Its headquarters are in Washington DC, United States. Its area can only be served in the United States. Its key person is Patricia Harrison. President and CEO. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting CPB is an American publicly funded nonprofit corporation created in 1967 to promote and help support public broadcasting. Through the corporation's mission is to ensure universal access to non commercial, high quality content, and telecommunication services. It does so by distributing more than 70 percent of its funding to more than 1,400 locally owned public radio and television stations for. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting is known as CPB. It's American funded no profit corporation created in 1967 to promote help and help support public broadcasting. The corporation's mission is the universal access to non commercial, high quality contact to a telecommunication service. It does, and distribute, and by distributing by more than 70% of its funding to more than 1,400 locally owned public radio and television stations. Here's the info you don't know who the corporate for broad for public broadcasting is. It is a corporation founded on November 7, 1967 by, by the, the, United States, the President of the United States at the time, Linda Biden B. Johnson. And her headquarters are her wash and are the, are the, it's, it's the capital of Washington DC of what of the United States of America Washington DC 
The Corporation for Public Broadcasting is an American publicly funded non-profit corporation, created in 1967 to promote and help support public broadcasting. Its website is www.cpb.com. So let's, sorry, let's click on the URL and let's take a look. Oh no, um, you know what? Never mind. The website is cpb.org, dumbass. The website. The staffs are the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This website can be found at cbb.org. There are many good times of Corporation for Public Broadcasting. It's been 25 years. Lida. And we got a new show about. <laughs> oh, God! from an animate insanity invitational. I'm sick but sleeping, I'm sick but Shut sleeping. Shut up! Oh, 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 oh. And you guys, let this act to a gif in a gif start. Happy bellies, happy family. Now with our sort of ado, let's get on to our Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Now let's begin the history of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This corporation has had six logos, so let's jump right in. Anyway, today we're gonna look at this logo. We started it already, didn't we? 1967 to 1969. Just CPB in black. <laughs> That's irrelevant. 1967 to 1969, we have a, uh, we have... We have the word CPB in black text with a po boring plain font. 1967 to 1969, there's this word CPB in black text. 1967 to 1969, we have the CPB with the uh, Cooperation for Public Broadcasting in black text. Here's all the other versions. Same here, but different. This will have a blue background with white text. And this is the black version with the white text. 1967 to 1969, which is the letter C, P, and B in black text. The first logo was used from 1967 to 1969. We just have the black letter C, P, and B. It's very boring. This logo was used from 1967 to 1969. And... The words they use is C P B. The second word just looks like P. <laughs> Wait, let's get back to it now. 1967 and 1976, it may be just a, a normal shape for you, but actually, this is actually a C, a P. And a B mashed together. Once again, it's a C, a P, and a B mashed together. Kind of like one of those logos where it looks like it's an optical illusion, probably. <laughs>
1969 to 1970. <clears throat> Are you ready? Does that look like 1970 to you? Feels good to be back. We have we have the word C, and inside of it we have the word P, and merged in the P we have the word B, and it's all in black. 1959 to 1935, there's a weird black and white shape, but the the big the outline is represents the C. The inside represents the C and the B. Easter egg stuff right there. 1969 to 1975, we still have the um square. Maybe the lines are kind of yeah, maybe so. Other versions were test corporations for puppet broadcasting. And these are the versions. 1969 to 1975, you have a black shape for the letter C, P, and B. Yeah. And now I was in. This is the so what was part of the The second logo was used from 1969 to 1975. It goes from boring to extreme. We have a weird black shape. And there are also white lines in the logo. I think the black shape is meant to be the letter C, P, and B combined into one mega letter, and it ended up looking a little bit ugly. This logo was used from 1969 to 1975. What the curly wine world? Let's both. <coughs> I can't B. I have found one variant of that logo. One has the slogan that says Corporation for Public Broadcasting. So as you can see, this young man is violating his lenses with his fingers, so we'll charge it with camera assault. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. 1975 to 1978, we have the word CPB and the full name po Corporation for Public Broadcasting on the bottom and on the logo, it's uh... Hey, that's my Ten layers of um text on CPB. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen seventy eight. There's the word CBP in black and gray. Black, white, and gray. Text in a weird font in blood is where Corporation for Public Broadcasting Black Text. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen seventy eight. There are some uh, few lines and the black text that have the cooperation for public broadcasting. And these versions over here because this one. 1975, after 1978, here, if C, there C, P, and B, and, and a weird, and, and, and make for, for many here, roundy, li roundy lines, and under the letters are. From the words Corporation for Public Broadcasting Black Text. The third logo was used from 1975 to 1978. We have the letter C, P, and E, but it looks weird. Below them are the black words Corporation for Public Broadcasting. 1976 to 1978, we have the letters C, P, and B in black text. 1977 to 1982 it's kind of like the first logo but the lo for the font has changed 1977 to 1982 there's a word corp cpp and black text cpp 
1975-1983, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting is in short. short. Not for the variations. 1977 to 1982, we had a Josette Lawrence CPMB in the black text. The Program Fund of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The Lawmakers is made possible by grants from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This program funded by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The fourth logo was used from 1977 to 1982. The text has been cut out from the logo, and the letters have been changed, now being colored black, and having a font that reminds me of the American ABC logo. This logo was used from 1975 to 1998, with the word CPP. This time, these words are cheaply 70. Cheap. Yeah, red. Cheap. 1978 to 2001, we have uh, the letter C P B, um, and the and then the P and the B stand out because they're stretching out. 1982 to 2000, we have the word C P B in white text instead of a black circle. 1982 to 2000, there's a black circle with word C P. E B and white text, but the the P and B have long well, of long ends. Nineteen eighty two to two thousand, the Sogo is a nabla black Sogo with the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the C B B and white text. And here's the other versions. Nineteen eighty two to two thousand, we had a. Have a circle inside the letter C P B in white text. Nineteen eighty three to two thousand, we have the letter the fifth logo was used from 1982 to 2000. The letters have changed once again, and they were colored white, and have been placed inside a black circle, which is neat. This logo was used from 1983 to 2000. Woo! I have the blue version. Thank you, Sonic. Weird. I found so many variants of that logo. One has the print version of it. One has the date scarred like the dawn of it. One has the outline version of it. One has the logo on top with the silhouette. A hey, word on top. One has the second version, but this horizontal logo. One has the top up logo, but this time this uh, horizontal cheap logo. One has the full logo. Oh, one has the full logo. One has the full logo. One has the full logo. <laughs> Shut up, doggy. And finally, 2001 to the present, um, the circle became a blue square, and now we have the letter CPB. Again, the P and the B are extending, but not like curvy extended like the last one. 2000 to the present, we have the word CPB in, in white text with a, in a black square. Remember this? Square. The square. 2000 to the present, there's a black square with the word CPB in, in, 
white text. In 2002, the person, the square is on the corporation for public broadcasting. Tip of fun with CBB, the person for your area. 2000s to the present. <laughs> now we have the shape is out square and the font, the word, the letters, the CPB haven't changed. <laughs> And finally, the sixth logo has been in use since 2000. The letters have changed on once again, and the circle has been changed to the iconic square. This logo was used from 2000 to the present day! Wow, that's amazing as heck! Anyway, we found so many variants of that logo. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> god help me. Anyway, one has the bold version of it, one has the print version of it, one has the bold version of the print version, one has the sideways version of it, one has the print version of it, one has the light blue version of it, one has the uh sideways version of it, one has the full text using text with man, twice, this guy, whoop. One has the three symbol variants found. One has the blue version, print version, and the light blue version. One has the red background with the logo. The knee. Half walk! Half walk! Aren't you glad it's time for? Bonus oh, logo time! time. Da -da. You're right, it's time for bonus logo time! Da -da. And I found five colored logos. One has the PDF silhouette version of it, then the blue horizontal version, one the blue version, green version, pink version, and orange version. Eat. Alright, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 325, NASA, the boy. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you guys later for number 13. Feed it a chili dog. Everyone loves chili dogs. I don't think he can eat solid food. Well, then put it in the blender. Well, if you say so. <laughs> the chili dog, not the baby. Alright, that's me, right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Logo History Terry Night, and you can you know we're blasting. Bye for now. Oh my god, it's Battle Ants Chugs! Alright guys, this is the first episode of Logan History. Thanks for watching. Hey, baby. Maybe we don't know what's going to be about for the next episode. Anyways, this is me, signing off. And now, the Logo History Collab Wishlist updates for this season. Returning RBBC, PJ Masks, 20th Television, The Loud House, Marvel Studios, and Capcom, and the new logos RX, formerly Twitter, Ajamajo Dorini, Midway Games, and Namco. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I'm Turganite, telling you that for this series, you can request music to play in the background for this series, and I'll see you next time.
Goodbye, my copies. Oh, it's over now. Chuggy e. Cheese! That's right, thank you for watching Logo History. And coming up on Logo History is Chuck E. Cheese's Where a Kid Can Be a Kid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Wait, don't tell me. That logo was used in PBS Kids, isn't it? I'm afraid so. Pterodactyl, ah, uh, scream.